I would I would have no idea because I What do you think? What do I think? I would probably say maybe maybe it's five, six or something. You think they would rank you higher? Yeah, than myself, yeah, because I always I know I messed up, but they don't think so. Okay. They think that I left them in good company, which I which that was my intentions, but I, I know good and well I should have been there in their life. Do you regret that? Yes, indeed. Oh, do I? I mean, if, if you could give them a message right now, if they were to see this YouTube video, you could look them in the camera, man. Tell them how you feel, man. I would say I hate myself. Tell them. Look them in the camera and tell them how you I feel. I would say that I hate myself for what I did. Does it eat away at you? Every day. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here in New Orleans. So, we got my man out here today, man. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Man, I'm doing great, man. That's it's beautiful great. out here, man. A uh, beautiful day for sure. Yes, it is. All right, man. And so, are you homeless? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 61. 61? Uh, man, you look great. I don't you look, look great that for old, your age, man. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen that great yet. <laughs> All right, man. And so, um, you're 61. How long have you been homeless? Uh, 14 years now. Okay, is that 14 years on and off? On and off. And so, when was the last time you had a roof over your head? Oh, about nine months ago. Okay, and so what was it that happened nine months ago that caused you to not have a roof over a your head? A relationship fiance. Okay, so you was in a relationship? Yes. And so, I guess, what happened? Y'all got to arguing or something? Oh, she wanted to go off on her way doing drugs and all that. What kind of drugs? Crack cocaine and hair on or whatever I guess whatever she wanted to do because okay. I wouldn't you know I wasn't gonna put my hands on her anything like that well I mean that did, you do crack? did you do crack as well I did uh alcohol and marijuana no crack ever never no okay and so besides weed and marijuana um, besides weed and alcohol any other drugs no okay so did you know that she smoked crack already no I didn't okay how long had y'all been in a relationship uh, about four years before we got in a relationship, really. And so you didn't know she smoked crack? No, I didn't. Did she just start smoking crack when she was in a relationship I, with you? Was, she said she, she'd been doing it. She thought I knew about it, but I didn't. Okay. And so y'all knew each other for four years, y'all, but y'all wasn't in a relationship? No. Okay, so what, what made y'all link up and get in a relationship? The sex. <laughs> so, were y'all... <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Hey, man, that's, that's for honesty, man. So, I mean, so, what, were y'all already having sex? Yes. Before. Okay, so y'all had a sexual friendship. Right. And then eventually he turned it into a relationship. Yes, it did. And so, <laughs> so basically that was some crackhead pussy. Uh, it whatever was good. you want to say. Well, but, I mean, but you're but saying it was, that good, it was okay. Uh, it was good enough that you got in a relationship. She kept herself clean, you know. I ain't mad at it, man. How old was she? How old was she? Yeah, how old is she? She was uh, 48 at the time. 48? Yeah. Okay, all right. And so, y'all had, was it your apartment? Was it a house? Where were y'all living? Oh, uh, we were staying in, I was working at the time. Mm -hmm. We had got the place together. Okay. She was working, she was working too, but she was doing part-time work. So we got together, you know, got the rent and all that there. Everything came out all right. How long, how long was y'all good before you wasn't good? Oh. Like uh, in that particular place? Uh, they call it, uh, like how many months did y'all? We was in the night no, I'm asking, how many months did y'all pay rent before? Oh, it was like maybe five months. So five months, things was all right. Things was great. And then, so what happened that fifth month? I can't say on her part, but I know when I start coming home from work, things start, you know, it started looking different. I'll put it like, like that. Like what? Uh, not cooking, not cleaning, you know. It just happened all like of a that. sudden? No, it was, you know, it was gradually. Okay. Okay, and so, and so, okay, so nine months ago, I guess that's when you, you know, kind of came out here on the streets. Why did you come out here? You couldn't, was it because you couldn't pay no, the bills by yourself? No, it's because I've been out here, you know, many times before, but after we went through that trial and tribulation we were going through, I said, well, look, since we're going to cut it off, let her do her thing. Did y'all did get evicted? No, we didn't get evicted. You just we, left? Just left. 
I just left. I left her with everything. And so was she still, is she still there at the oh, apartment? I have no idea. When was the last time you saw her? It was like a month ago. Month ago? Yes. How was she? She, she didn't look bad. You know, she looked like she's keeping herself up. What, do you know if she's homeless or not? I have, no, she, she's not. Cause I spoke to her, you know, we, we so, said hello. So who did, where did she, who did she live with? She lived, as far as I know, she lived by herself. You know, that's her choice, whatever she wanted. So why not, why not go and live with her, man? No, I, not from what we just went through. Uh, so tell me, I mean, was I'd rather it, start all over again. So did y'all have like an argument or something like that? Or was I it like this big blow up it, type deal? I would say it's, it was like an argument. It wasn't, you know, no fist fight or anything. Right, I, I get that. It wasn't physical, but you're saying that you guys had a bad blow up and, and you right. left? Right, she wanted to do what she wanted. Like what? Tell me what. Uh, besides her drugs, uh, when she did wanted she want other to. Guys and stuff she like didn't want to do, you know, for us taking care of the house, or anything like that. She didn't. Want to so she didn't want to like cook, clean, do that yeah, stuff. She didn't want to do that. What? Was, she, was she, she messing with other guys as well? Uh, I imagine she was in order to keep her habit going. Okay, but you didn't know whether she was. I or didn't not. know at the time, but the dudes that I was. You know, that in I the know street, now you're hearing and, that yeah, I she hear was that, doing that and stuff. And then when I, you know, found out for myself, yes. Well, let me ask you this, man. I mean, you knew her for four years, man. Like, you didn't know that that she was like that, man. I no, mean, come on, man. No, no, man. I'm Like, we in the streets, the like, we the, observe things in the streets. She was working at the time that I met her. Okay. Okay. When we got together, I was working offshore. Okay. You was offshore. Okay. Was working offshore. When we got together, she said, you know, everything, you know, she know how to cook and clean and all this here. You know, I'm doing, oh, I'm enjoying that. Right. So once we got together, we got our place. She got, she got her, you know, her family. You know, I met her sister. I met her brothers. Right. You know, but they didn't say anything about it. So nobody really gave you any right, heads up. Right, any kind of heads up, anything like that. But they, they, but when I, when I found out from my AT, they, they was thinking she was, she had changed. Changed from what? Okay, man. So let me let's start from the beginning real quick, man. So where are you from, man? I'm from, originally from Oklahoma City. Man, shout out Oklahoma City, man. Yeah. All right, man. And so growing up in Oklahoma City, um, you know, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Yes, I did. Okay, were they married? Yes, in time. Okay, did you have any brothers and sisters? I had three. I, I was raised with three sisters. No three brothers. sisters, no brothers. And so, where are you in the birth order? I'm the second one. Okay. And so, your sisters, how are they doing in life right now? Oh, my, my first two, Eunice and Carolyn, uh, is still living right now. Okay, sorry to hear about the one that's not. Right. Uh, my condolences for that. Um, and so, do they know that you're homeless right now? No. Yeah, no. So if they were to happen to come because across, because it's not it's not a permanent thing for me. I get it. I get it. If, if they were to happen to come across this video on YouTube, okay, what do you think their thoughts and instincts would be? Oh, they are gonna say, "Where my brother?" <laughs> do you think they would want to come and like grab you and get you off the street, or uh, they just kind of let you? You know, I'm gonna call them ahead of time and let them know it's gonna be out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I mean, and so do you have any kids? I have two. Two? How old? Uh, 34 and 37 now. Okay, and so, um, same mom or different mom? Same mom. Okay. Thank well, God was, for that. Was you in a marriage? Was that a marriage? Marriage. marriage. That, that was a marriage? first marriage. Okay, so how many times have you been married? Twice. Twice, okay. So the first marriage, how old were you when you got married? About 22. 22? How long did that marriage last? Oh, my wife, she died in 1981. 81? So how many years was that? Ooh, how many years? I don't even want to count back. I don't even want to think back. How old were the kids when your wife died? My my daughter was two, and my son was uh, one years old at the time. Okay, well, you say they're 34 and 37, right? Uh-huh. So they're three years apart? Two A uh, year. year. Year and... The Trisha was born year September change. the 3rd. Keith was born June. So right up under two years, two. about a year and nine not, months? Not even a year. Not even a year. They're not even a year apart? Oh, you said 34 and 37, man. Yeah. More like 34 and 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but couldn't remember? I couldn't remember, man. I tried, <laughs> When was the last I time you not, talked to him, man? Last time I talked to him was like a year ago. Why has it been so long? <sighs> they going through a lot of troubles and I'm going through problems. Uh, I've been trying to 
you know, trying to get myself together right now. You know, what's, I put what's, myself what's, in situations. So what 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 is preventing you from doing it? What is preventing me right now? Uh, being stuck here from with my second wife. She just just she just died. So wait, so okay, so let's let's unpack that. So you got married a second time. Right. And are you currently married? No. You say that I, she just died. She just passed. When did she die? November, Sorry to hear about that. November the 22nd. So 20, of 2021? Okay. And so... So wait. So you were married while you was in a relationship with the other lady? Because that timeline ain't... That's the same lady. Same lady. The one that started smoking crack and doing everything no, else? No, 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 no. My, my first... My uh -huh. second wife, that's uh -huh. the same lady. Now, the second, the third lady, oh no. So wait, so, okay, so I, oh, I, I wanna no. make sure my audience, <laughs> I wanna make sure my audience is clear, okay? okay? So, okay. so the first wife, she died, right? Right. Okay, um, when your kids were still young. Right. Okay. But I was in, you know, like you said, two relationships, girlfriend and my, my, my second wife deceased. So I got, I got myself stuck out, so to speak. What I mean by that is, I'm in a wife relationship and a girlfriend. Right, but you're talking about, are you talking about when you was younger or are you talking about like recently? Recently. Okay, so that's what I was saying. So, okay. So, so you were married while you was in a relationship uh, with the 48 year old. Okay, okay, okay. And so, how long, what age were you when you got married to your, your, the second time? It's like maybe 48, 47, something like that. Okay, and so how did she die? Uh, drugs. Crack as well? I have no idea. Well, I mean, she was your wife. You don't, you didn't know? Well, I, well, I, I they, they said a heart attack, so I don't know if she How long um, had y'all been married? We was married for like... Well, you say years. since 48? Four years. Four years? Yeah. And then, and then she died? Well, it's not adding up, man. <laughs> what you saying? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at math, man. So okay, we I was in a relationship for four years. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that was four. That was the last four years. The last four years, yes. Okay. Here on here on the street. Okay. Know. Okay. And so was she homeless as well? No. No. So you lived with her. Right. Okay. And so why did why did you stop living with her? Because at some point because you I got tied with the up other with lady. the other lady. <laughs> I got, I got, you know, in a relationship with somebody else. Okay, okay, okay. Did y'all have any kids? You and the wife? No, no. Okay, and, and no, not no, you and the other lady as well. Okay, all right, all right. My first wife. And you say they're not doing so great right now, well, as far as life goes? Not really, not really, because uh, they was raised by their, their my mother-in-law. So if you had to mom. rate your activeness, because it sounds like their their mom died, right? Right. Who you, who was your wife? Um, if you had to rate your activeness as a father after her death, Ooh. one to ten, where would you rate it? Myself? Where would you rate it? I would say a four. If I asked them that same question, what number do you think they would give me? I would, I would have no idea. because. What I do you think? What do I think? I would probably say maybe... Maybe it's five, six or something. You think they would rank you higher? Yeah, than myself, yeah, because I always, cause I know I messed up, but they don't think so. Okay. They think that I left them in good company, which I wish that was my intentions, but I, I know good and well I should have been there in their life. Do you regret that? Yes, indeed. Oh, do I? I mean, if, if you could give them a message right now, if they were to see this YouTube video, you could look them in the camera, man. Tell them how you feel, man. I would say I hate myself. Tell them, look them in the camera and tell them how you I feel. I would say that I hate myself for what I did. Does it eat away at you? Every day. everything okay man all right man and so at this point man i mean what are we doing to try to you know like i say get ourselves off the street man what i'm doing right now 
is working through housing, uh, talking to case managers. I got I got have a case manager talking to my social worker, you know, making reliance, you know, trying to uh, stabilize myself from drinking so much, uh, going to meetings. Okay, just going through the steps, man. Right. All right, man. Well, listen, man, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? you have social media, cash app, a letter, a phone number, email, anything like that? No, I would rather not. I would rather use... Jehovah's going to help me sooner or later. That's right. You know, God is going to help me. But I just have to be willing. Okay, man. There's nobody else. I'm not looking for no handouts. Straight up internal, man. I, I Listen, I get it, man. I get it. Hey, man, like I say, man, we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? All right, thank all you right, for man, your have time. Have a good one.